सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर एट एथिक्स इन स्पोर्ट्स पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड नाइन एट पॉइंट वन इंट्रोडक्शन इट इज नाउ बींग इंक्रीजिंगली रियलाइज दैट स्पोर्ट्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू द फिजिकल साइकोलॉजिकल एंड इमोशनल वेल बींग ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल Sports play a significant role in healthy social development and interaction. It helps people learn how to set and achieve goals through discipline and hard work. It nurtures the development of decision making and leadership abilities while teaching people to manage both success and failure. Today, it has become one of the most popular activities being organized at regular intervals. In its true sense, Sports means much more than just to compete in a few events organized at certain intervals for the highest honor of one state or country. Sports is a human activity that contributes to the holistic development of individuals. It is recognized as an individual activity which offers the opportunity for self-knowledge, self-expression and fulfillment of personal achievement, skill acquisition and demonstration of ability enjoyment good health and well-being sports also engages us in a collective effort to pursue human excellence it provides us an opportunity for social interaction it is a source of pleasure but more than that sports inspires brings cultures together and can bridge social divides Sports can enrich society and foster friendships between nations. Sports is also responsible for the application of rules and for adherence to values such as mutual respect, solidarity and fair play. Sports today faces the pressures of modern society and new challenges. When sports events like Olympic Games, Commonwealth Games, Asian Games or those related to cricket, football volleyball tennis hockey or badminton take place millions of spectators viewers on television internet or listeners on radio become intensely engaged even though a selected few participate sports is primarily a competitive activity where winning is the be all and end all do you agree with this statement perhaps that is why in this highly competitive sports environment We quite often hear about unethical behavior which includes cheating, bending the rules, doping, abuse of food additives, physical and verbal violence, harassment, sexual abuse and trafficking of young sports persons. Discrimination, exploitation, unequal opportunities, unethical sports practices, unfair means, excessive commercialization, use of drugs in sports and corruption. page number 110 these are just a few examples of what may go wrong with sports there is not just one reason for these part of the problem is that people ignore ethics while making decisions it is in this context that ethics occupy a critical place in the present chapter we shall discuss various dimensions of sports ethics 8.2 what is sports ethics Before discussing various dimensions of sports ethics it is important to understand the meaning of ethics ethics morals and values are used interchangeably in everyday language though these terms are not synonyms the concept of ethics is technically understood as a branch of philosophy that defines what is good for the individual and society and establishes the nature of obligations or duties that people owe themselves and to one another but without going into the complexities of this concept it is relevant to understand ethics as the practice of making principled choices between right and wrong a code of conduct that guides human behavior a set of standards that guides our conduct it is generally viewed as the system or set of rules norms or laws by which attitudes and actions are determined to be either right or wrong the fundamental problem of ethics is determining what constitutes proper conduct 
it defines how individuals professionals in different fields organizations associations federation and corporations choose to interact with one another in view of the above sports ethics is a positive concept that guides human action in sports it is defined as the code of conduct for promoting and ensuring healthy sporting practices sports ethics signifies not just a certain form of behavior but also a particular way of thinking it promotes fair play among children and young persons via educational and preventive measures and encourages the dissemination of good practices to promote diversity in sport and combat all forms of discrimination every child and young person has the right to play sport and games to gain satisfaction from the experience the code of sports ethics applies to all levels of skills and commitment recreational activities as well as competitive sport it involves the elimination of all types of negative behavior on and off the field more importantly it promotes equity and sporting excellence now we have two boxes on the page let's discuss the first one box number 8.1 it says ethics is much more than playing within the rules as it covers notions such as friendship respect for others and the sporting spirit now box number 8.2 institutions and adults must be the guarantors of the right to play sport and games page number 111 now getting back to the chapter sports ethics is also focused on equity in sport which should be an expression of human excellence it has two dimensions a institutional discrimination based on criteria other than performance must be rejected rules must be applied uniformly and without resorting to arbitrary decisions b personal there is a moral obligation to abide by the rules in accordance with the principles of fair play it tries to ensure that sporting excellence must be an expression of human excellence and performance and results should emerge from the deserved and meritorious development of individual talent the codes of sports ethics documented by the olympic committee and other international and national sports bodies governments sports federations and associations sports sponsoring concerns and specialized research institutions provide a comprehensive view of sports ethics these clearly suggest that sports ethics is a set of standards that guide the conduct of all concerned with sports the sports persons trainers referees managers administrators parents teachers journalists doctors and pharmacists nutritional expert sports sponsoring concerns top level sports persons who serve as models and even spectators these ethical standards are universal and objective and are not based on subjective guidelines they have been proven over time now we have an activity for you activity number 8.1 gather information from the literature on sports regarding the codes of sports ethics developed documented and issued by various sports bodies at global and regional levels collect such codes of sports ethics documented by government and sports bodies in india compare the international and indian codes of sports ethics continuing with the chapter 8.3 sports ethics standards what are sport ethics or standards commonly described as six pillars of fair play standards are integral elements of all sports activities sports policy and management and apply to all levels of ability and commitment including recreational as well as competitive sports these are trustworthiness respect responsibility fairness caring and citizenship 8.3.1 trustworthiness always pursue victory with honor demonstrate and demand integrity observe and enforce 
the spirit and letter of the rules. Do not engage in or tolerate dishonesty, cheating or dishonorable conduct. 8.3.2 Respect Treat the traditions of the sports and other participants with respect. Page number 112 Do not engage in or tolerate disrespectful conduct, including verbal abuse of opponents and officials, taunting and inappropriate celebrations. Win with grace and lose with dignity. 8.3.3 Responsibility Be a positive role model on and off the field. Safeguard your health. Know what you are putting in your body. Just because a substance is legal or natural doesn't mean it's permitted or safe in health context. Take responsibility and educate yourself about issues of anti-doping. It's up to you to comply with anti-doping policies. 8.3.4 Fairness Adhere to high standards of fair play. Ensure that teams and athletes play by the rules and treat others fairly. Anything that gives an unfair advantage violates the spirit as well as the integrity of the sport. 8.3.5 Caring Demonstrate concern for others. Never engage in careless behavior that could injure yourself or others. Help the team by encouraging your teammates. Never tolerate unhealthy or dangerous conduct by your teammates. Encourage your teammates to make healthy choices and to be prepared to report any dangerous behavior. 8.3.6 Citizenship Play by the rules. Sports is defined by the rules. These rules may be yours or your teams or your teachers. Follow the spirit of the rules. Resist the temptation of gaining an advantage by bending the rules. Take pride in your performance while abiding by the rules. You have worked too hard to throw it away by cheating. As a member of a community, whether in a team, in a classroom or with a family, think how your choices impact other community members. Activity time. Activity number 8.2. Write a report about your own experience on sports ethics regarding any competition held in the neighborhood or at the school level. You were just listening to this audiobook. Narrator Neeraj Yado. Technical coordinator Buddy Langlingdo. Sound recordist Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in production Ruchi Sharma. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Choudhury. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.